Mate, I think that might need tightening up. <laughs> Your adjustment bolts. What's going on guys? So over at Andy's today and we're working on my Vapor so then we can get out for a little ride. I've got the psychoanalyst to install on the handlebars. We haven't got the handlebar mount, Grim forgot to send it with one. There's Andy in the background. Um, yeah, just trying to bodge it on. We've cable tied the uh, display onto the handlebars just temporarily, just to get it up and running. And what we need to do is get the throttle working. So we need to cut and splice three cables together to run the throttle straight to the psychoanalyst instead of going through the phase runner then hopefully I'll have a voltage display, a speed display etc etc and then we can get out and he wants to get out on his new carbon bike and yeah we'll just go out and grab a coffee go for a little ride so yeah take you in for a little look what's going on all right so as, as I was saying up here here is the actual psychoanalyst which actually looks pretty good doesn't it or the way that's mounted even though I've literally just cable tied it here for a hole. If it works, it works. Yeah, that's a good mount weight, really. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not, is it? It's, it's pretty sturdy and it's tidy, but yeah, gets it going. Hopefully, Grin will send us what we paid for. And then another little cable tie here just to hold it in place with the cables. Yeah, we're having a bit of a ball ache at the minute trying to get the cables here that run through the frame on this side run through the frame and come out here, but they're kind of well and truly jammed in. Do you remember when we actually tried putting them in? Yeah. It was feeding yeah, them for right. ages, weren't we? And now we've got to take them back out again. So. Uh, this has got to come off, hasn't it, completely? Which means that has got to come off. That's just one screw, isn't it? one of those underneath Is that there? just the one screw? And there's another one under there. Or is it just them two screws and it comes off? No, that's, there's no screws there. It's just, it's there, and then there's another one behind or under that. Oh, right. Right, I'm going to put the phone down and see if we can be of some assistance to get this sorted. Dude, it's so dark in here. Is there a light? Yeah, I know. I can't see nothing. It's so dark, I can't even see. I'm going to have to get a torch in here. Right, guys, sorry, the light's terrible in here. I've had to use... Oh, sorry, I'll show you your phone. <laughs> had to use Andy's phone to get some light. Lighting in here is pretty dull today. Yeah, so we can see why it was so hard to get these cables out. Look how tight... Everything's solid in there, absolutely yeah, solid. Tight, um, I think it's almost better just like cutting those right at the edge. And then I was just thinking something through. similar to that, but we just wanted to show you guys before we move on to the next stage what's happening. Um, so yeah, or next. Or we'll show a bit of soap, Or lube it up, and then show some Vaseline from last time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, so gonna take off this goddamn awful voltage, voltage on off switch thing, that's coming off. I'm um, going to take the throttle off as well and all, all the brake and everything just so Andy can get to the throttle easily and solder onto these tiny little cables on the bench. Right, so she's looking all bare and naked, taking everything off. But just a, just an empty, empty pole, no display, no grip, no throttle, no brake, it's all off. Half the uh, battery mounting plate's gone, that's on the floor. We've just taken it all off the salt and he's got the psychoanalyst on the table. It's going to solder the three throttle cables. And also, I've asked Andy kindly whilst we're here, this, this cable, it's got a bit of a dodgy connection. I'm just going to remove these plugs completely and put some black shrink cable on just to tidy this right up. And whilst Andy's doing that, Desperately trying to get it done as quick as possible because he's hungry. Whilst <laughs> <laughs> um, Andy's doing those three solders for me, I'm going to get all the base plate back together on the bike now we've pulled the cables through. Right, so I've just put the battery base plate back in and this cable that was all horrible before um, is a little bit less horrible now. Got a little bit of heat shrink over it and a bit of duct tape to take away the colour wires. Tidy all this loom up now. Here we go, final bit of heat shrink wrap going in. Look, I'm videoing, multitasking. <laughs> that good? Looking good, mate. Okay. Look at that, so much more tidy. Much better. Alright, 
So then you, yeah. Now you just get all this back together and hope that it actually works. We haven't, we haven't tried it yet, have we? We haven't. Uh, that goes onto the. That goes onto the onto the onto that oh, base. I can't remember don't. which order that sits over it. I don't know if that's before or after. It goes through and it screws through both, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's oh, have a look. Of course point is down the down there. So Steve's just gonna put the connector block on for the batch. You've got to make sure that's the right way round, which it is positive going towards the stall. <laughs> Technical. Obviously, if you've got a stool that's not on the right <laughs> side, then <laughs> you might have a problem. <laughs> Does this piece definitely go in for that plastic bit? Does the plastic bit just jiggle around it afterwards? Yeah, the plastic bit just sort of slides over the top of it. And there's a cut out the back for the wires, so it keeps Doesn't it neat. look well tidy. Yeah, much neater now. Everything's isn't it? black. Got the cables that we don't need. So that's there, and then this somehow. That then sort of like goes over the top. Like that, yeah. Right. Oh, sorry, no, the other way. That's it, that way. Um, so you sort of going, it's a bit like, like that. Oh, okay. So these cables are meant to actually go into this little notch. That big cable won't fit, won't, doesn't need to go in there. That's just for the motor, that's just for the motor, but it's just that, that power cable. You're not ridden that one yet, have you? No, not yet. <laughs> Look how light it is, though. Oh, I felt it the other day. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's really light. It's obviously a bit early now in the battery, but... Yeah. That's right, good, mate. Bad. Right. Psychoanalyst is on. And we think it's working. We had a bit of a problem. I think it was the e-brakes cutting out the throttle um, to begin with, or something along those lines. So the old power button's gone. Now I've got this um, on off switch for the, for the um, psychoanalyst. It's not perfect, but it's way better than it was. And this little loom here is so much tidier. So yeah, we're gonna go out, test it out, see if it works. And he's gonna have a little go of his machine. I'm gonna get some food because I'm absolutely starving. So, so hungry, days, literally fading now. So we catch you guys on the other side. And he's just realised it's got no gears, it's a single speed. Pendulum assist is one of the best that I've actually used. Really? Yeah. It doesn't like kind of lunge or do anything like that, it just gradually like creeps It in. did seem a bit slow when it pulled away. I should check that my bike works as well really, shouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's actually check that my bike's actually doing anything. Well, he's doing something. Street. Huh? Go down there. We'll go down this road. Is that shut now, that cat? Uh, Proper food by that time. Which way? Yeah, sorry. That's alright, mate. Alright, here we go. Going the truth, throttle. Whoa! The throttle kept going when I went off of it. That's it. it. Yeah. It's got this really weird ramp down where the throttle, when I take it off it. Oh, that, that is a city. Look, off the throttle, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, that's scary, mate. Look. Look, whoa. I'm off the throttle and I'm going to Sorry. crash into you. Do you want to have a look at the setting? Oh, I kind of do, but I'm fucking exhausted. I really am. Uh, what's that then? That's weird. It's just running shit. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's obviously going to need tuning on that. Uh, I don't know what to do, it's running horribly.
I don't know what I'll do, mate. The frog's sketchy. It's obviously cutting out. It's cutting out? Well, no, like I said, like, cut it down there. It's a cut um, it hasn't cut it no, out. No, and since the gears are really hard to get to now, I've moved it to flick through them. <laughs> it's just it's fucking shit and they saw it. No, I ain't got, we ain't got time to do now. I don't know what I'll do. It's not very enjoyable. Do you want to try it, see what it's like? Not bad, is it? Oh, try to go. Oh. Ah. It's not in my mouth. I think it feels all right. Yeah. What gear did you have it in? I don't know, but the part of the it, clunky. It's like it'd go away after the first pit off and it's staying the clunkiness. You should be in that gear, that's why. You can't run it in those low gears. We've sent it don't feel that much difference to mine. <laughs> Two thousand watts, it just peaks at then. Just go and see if the caps open also Go over there. Coming in. It's got a ramp down, isn't it? God, it sounds weird that bike, doesn't it? <laughs> Makes the strangest, yeah, most weird, embarrassing sounds. Um, he was wondering what the rattling sound is. Look at this. Hey, I think that might need tightening up. <laughs> Your adjustment bolts. Oh, bikes, hey mate. Who would bother with bikes? <laughs> bikes. Bane, Bane of our lives. Sounds like some sort of checker. It's, it sounds like an as the checker. <laughs> Has he got a bar? Is that a barcode scanner? I think they've. Tr I'd say it too much because I've got. We scanned in my video, not yours. I'm going to be honest. I'm, 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 I've got to be quite honest. I'll be quiet. Listen to this. Hang on. Oh, that's the signal. That's the left. That's, the That's not so bad, the locking sound. I can live That's with that. It's when it comes on. When you turn it off and on. It almost just needs like one sound. It's just like. Just, just, just something subtle. You don't yeah. like. It's a bit like over the top. It's, it? <laughs> it's a bit much. I'll feed all this back to him anyway, because like... Yeah, you know, you might want a bit of discretion sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depend where you are, what you're if doing. You that, I mean, if you did that in a quiet street... <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, like, people be like, what the hell? Yeah. What is that? Here he comes. There he goes. All right, guys, that's all we've got time for today. Not exactly 100% completed the vapour, but it's definitely more... It's more on stage of being done. This is <laughs> the end. I wonder if that road sign said the end, no, it just says zone. 20 zone. Oh, zone. There you go. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. Just, yeah, run out of time, run out of energy. We hadn't eaten the whole entire day either, have we? So, yeah, nice to get a bit of food inside and feel human, but yeah. Right, that will be it for today. I think we'll maybe get together next week and hopefully just get out for a bike ride, it'd be nice. Yeah, it would be good for Yeah, it'd be really nice to just cook up and just chill out. Mind you, we did have a good old chat, didn't we? Yeah. This morning, oh, we did have a good old chat. Pretty good. That's probably, camera. Yeah, it's probably what happens to the time, but... I don't always get, see on camera what we get up to and have a, a little chats, but yeah, it's nice. Nice one. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that little video and we'll catch you guys in a video soon. Catch you later. See you later.